All right, serious business time. What causes a person to become anorexic? Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Anorexia is pretty misunderstood, like a lot of mental illnesses actually. People think it's an extreme diet, they think it's a personal weakness, they think you have to be thin to actually have it. In reality, it's a real mental illness that has powerful effects. It's not just a diet. Eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia have the highest death rates of any other mental illness. People who have anorexia have an intense fear of gaining weight. They carefully monitor their food and their body. Because anorexics restrict their intake of food, they don't get the nutrients that they need and it takes a toll on their body. Their period might stop, hair and nails become thin and brittle, they might become anemic and bruise easily, and so forth. So anorexia affects mostly women, but about 10% of those with anorexia are male. It might even be more, it's probably underreported. The question that perplexes scientists is, what causes anorexia? And the truth is, they don't fully understand it. It's a complex illness, so its triggers are complex as well. So let's look at what we do know. Our culture's idealization of thinness, particularly for women, definitely plays a huge role in this eating disorder. But the culture alone isn't the cause, it's just the backdrop for other factors to come in. Even though it might look like it from the outside, anorexia isn't about food or weight. Just like I talked about in my self-harm video, this form of self-destruction is often about control as well. So feelings of loneliness, insecurity, worthlessness, a need to be perfect, and clinical depression all go hand in hand with anorexia. In an attempt to feel good enough and in control, anorexics manifest their inner struggles through their relationship with food. Anorexics are often overachievers, they excel at everything, they're incredibly critical of themselves, and they feel a strong need to be perfect, otherwise they see themselves as a failure. So a history with depression and perfectionism are both risk factors as well. Another trigger is family and social environment. Parents who are controlling, who criticize their child's body or who criticize their own body can trigger disordered eating and poor body image. So this applies to friends who pull this kind of stuff too. But not everyone in these circumstances develop anorexia. Not every perfectionist nor every child with overly critical parents becomes anorexic. So what gives? Scientists believe there may be a genetic component to anorexia as well. It appears to run in families. Someone with a sibling who has anorexia is at 20 times the risk. Brain chemistry is also important too. Anorexics have high levels of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and low levels of serotonin, which is a happy hormone. So new research from the Scripps Research Institute may also be onto another link. After analyzing the genetic information of over 3,000 people, they noticed that those with anorexia are more likely to have a variation on the gene EPHX two, which regulates the metabolism of cholesterol. They gotta research it further, but the scientists think that the variation may play a role in boosting their mood and their ability to survive even without the proper caloric intake. So we'll keep you with more science updates, of course, here on DNews. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts down below or on Twitter at DNews. I'll see you next time.